name is Elizabeth Stevens and I'm a pediatric and congenital heart surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. I'm here today to talk about vascular rings. Vascular rings are a group of diagnoses in which the airway and esophagus are compressed by a ring of vessels. These occur due to abnormalities in the development of the vessels that come off of the heart. There's no specific cause or genetic abnormality or anything that the mother took or did during pregnancy that causes these abnormalities. This diagnosis is often very challenging to make. Many times patients have grown all the way into their adolescence with relatively vague symptoms of having trouble swallowing and breathing difficulties before the diagnosis is made. Frequently, after the diagnosis is made, the family will note that the child has always been a very slow eater, chewing his or her food very thoroughly. They're often short of breath with exercise and frequently have been diagnosed with asthma. In some cases, the symptoms are noted in the first months of life with difficulty breathing and swallowing. When a vascular ring is suspected, a CT scan is often used for the diagnosis. And in fact, often a CT scan ordered to assess the lungs that incidentally shows the vascular ring is how the diagnosis is made. Once the diagnosis is made, an echocardiogram is also recommended to assess for any anomalies inside the heart, which is relatively unusual. All patients should also undergo a bronchoscopy, which is a scope that looks down the airways, prior to the repair, as three to 5% will have an additional airway issue. The remaining patients will demonstrate external compression of the airway secondary to the vascular ring. Increasingly, this diagnosis is diagnosed during pregnancy because of increased imaging during pregnancy and our ability to visualize vessels. We have developed an algorithm for which ba babies should be delivered at a hospital that offers cardiac surgery. The workup that they should receive once they are born and the timing of that imaging as well as our recommendation regarding timing of repair. In general, we are recommending repair between six months and two years of age, depending on the type of ring and symptoms. We are able to perform the surgery safely and effectively in this age range, and this decreases the duration of airway and esophageal compression that can have deleterious effects long-term. Shown here are some of the types of vascular rings. The two most common types in large clinical series are the double aortic arch on the upper left, one third of the cases, and the right arch uh, with the left ligamentum that can also have the subclavian coming off the descending aorta, which is about half of cases. In both conditions, you can appreciate the airway and the esophagus compressed in the middle of the ring of vessels. In the case of the subclavian coming off the descending aorta, the base of the subclavian can become dilated, and this is called a comeros diverticulum. This worsens the compression. The red arrow points to the ligamentum, which is divided during surgery. The red line shows where the ring is divided, and on the right-hand side, the curved red area shows arrow shows the transfer of the subclavian vessel. Here is a 3D model of a vascular ring. In hot pink is the ascending aorta that you can see here, and it comes around as the arch and down to the descending aorta here. You can see this extra arch forming a vascular ring in white is the airway, this is the trachea, and then it branches into the lung segments. So if you look down the barrel, you can appreciate this ring of vessels around the airway, and the esophagus would be posterior or behind that airway and would also be compressed. And so this shows how you divide this area to release the compression on the trachea and the esophagus. In terms of surgical repair, this does depend on the specific vascular ring type, but most commonly, we approach this through the left chest. We stay outside of the heart for this operation and are just dealing with the vessels coming off of the heart. The ring is divided and the tissue overlying the esophagus is freed up. In many cases, when the ring is divided, the vessels spring apart, demonstrating the tension that they have been under. In some cases, the subclavian artery is then transferred to one of the other vessels to remove any remaining compression on the esophagus and airway. The patients usually stay in the hospital three to five days with no mortality and the most common complication being chylothorax at 8%. This basically is lymphatic fluid that can take a while to drain after surgery. In older patients, the most common challenge is pain control because of the type of incision used. 
These older patients also experience less relief of their symptoms, and it takes longer for improvement due to the duration that the airway and esophagus have been compressed. Overall, these patients do quite well long term. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this informative.